Welcome back. I'm Bob Kirkpatrick with today's local sports. Moses Lake Baseball split games in the opening rounds of the 4A State Baseball Tournament at Yakima County Stadium Saturday and was eliminated from postseason play. The Chiefs were riding high after getting a walk-off single by Blake Springer in the bottom of the eighth inning to beat Union 3-2 in Game 1. But the team's bubble burst when they were blown out by arch-rival Wenatchee 13-3 in the regional title game. The Chiefs and Panthers split their first four meetings of the season with Moses Lake edging Wenatchee 6-5 in the district championship game May 17th. So expectations for a hotly contested game were high from players, coaches, and fans on both sides of the diamond. But it turned out to be a one-sided affair that Moses Lake lost after it was unable to dig itself out of a 4-0 deficit after the first inning of play. Despite being bounced out of postseason earlier than expected, the Chiefs had an excellent season. Moses Lake ran off a string of 15 state wins en route to an 18-5 record and was crowned Big Nine League and District Six champion. Moses Lake Girls track and field captured the District 6 4A championships at Zephyl Stadium in Yakima Saturday. The Chiefs were paced by Alicia Overland, who placed first in the 400 meters and 300 hurdles. She was also a member of the top 4x100 and 400 relay teams and took second in the 200 meters. Overland is among a dozen Moses Lake athletes that will be competing at the 4A state meet at Mount Tahoma High School this weekend. Marnie Skinner struck out eight, belted a two-run home run, and the Moses Lake Chiefs blew out Wenatchee 13-3 to capture the District 6 softball championship at Larson Field Saturday. The game was close at the onset with the teams knotted up 2-2 after two innings of play. Moses Lake broke the game open with six runs in the third inning and never looked back. The Panthers needed to put a run on the board in their at-bat in the top of the fifth and did so to avoid the five-inning ten-run mercy rule. But but it was a temporary stay of elimination as the Chiefs brought a runner across the dish in the home half of the inning to win it. The win over Wenatchee puts Moses Lake in a first round game with Battleground at the 4A State Softball Championships Friday at the Merkel Sports Complex in Spokane. The first pitch is scheduled for 10 a.m. on field number two. Francisco Alejandres recorded a hat trick and the Quincy Jacks beat South Whidbey 3-2 in overtime Saturday to advance to the semifinal round of the 1A Boys State Chuck Soccer Championships. The win sets up a semifinal match with Nemesis Chelan Friday at 2 p.m. at Sunset Chev Stadium in Sumner. The Warden Cougars captured the 1A SCAC East District Tournament with back-to-back -back shutout wins over Riverview and Connell Saturday at West Valley High School. The wins advance Warden to a first-round state game against Coopville Friday at Columbia Playfields in Richland at 10 a.m. Efreda Boys took the 2A District 5-6 Track and Field Championships at Efreda High School Friday. It is the seventh year in a row the Tiger Boys have been crowned CWAC League and District 5-6 champion. Efreda dominated the competition with a team score of 147 and a half points. West Valley was a distant second with 90. The Tigers were led by Jonathan Green, who swept the 100, 200, and 400 meter runs. He was also a member of the second place 4x100 four and 400 relay teams. Jacob Laird placed first in the discus with a throw of 169.01. The Lady Tigers placed third in the girls' competition. Danielle Hyatt set the pace for Efreda with a first place finish in the 60 and 3,200 meter events. The Tigers will be sending 12 athletes to compete at the state meet at Mount Tahoma High School this weekend. Well, that's it for sports. We'll be right back after this.